sitting on my hair. Hi guys, hey girl, hey! <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Donna Willowa. And we are here today to do the world's simplest makeup routine. Like when I say simple, I mean simple because I really don't want anything heavy on my face. I'm just going to be working today. So I'm just going to do something nice, quick, but still look nice and cute or what ever so yeah let's get started first thing we're gonna do is go in with our rose gold hydrating illuminizing primer and yes we're gonna do primer because the only thing i have on my face is coconut oil right now because i just wanted something nice and light and i still wanted my skin to glow from within and this is just gonna add a little bit extra glow you feel what i'm saying so let's go ahead and put those on our face all right you see that just added a nice little glow to my skin nothing to zip or whatever now i'm just gonna do my eyebrows off camera because i do have a video on that and i'm gonna come back and show y'all the rest of this simple a cash cash makeup look boo all right, guys and gals, my caterpillars are now on. Now we are going to move on to the rest of the face. And when I tell you guys it's about to be the simplest thing ever, it's about to be the simplest thing in the mother flipping world. Oh, we're going to go in with our normal steps as if we were not doing foundation and concealer. Because honestly, blending out foundation and concealer to me is like the longest step of the video. But... I'm not going to do any foundation and concealer. We're just going to go in with our natural skin because I feel like my skin doesn't look bad, you know? So yeah, we're going to take the NYX. You guys know the drill. Three-step multi-sculpting trio <laughs> and our brush and just push that bad boy in there and contour our cheeks. Well, more so bronze. All right, now we're going to take the bronzer in deep three and go on top of that like we normally do. Now we're gonna go back into the three-step to sculpt into that highlighter palette, I mean highlight shade, as in this one right here. This is what you would normally put on top of your concealer to make it pop a little bit more up under the eyes, but I'm just gonna dust a little bit up under my eyes so that it can brighten up just a tad. All right, went a little bit overboard and now I'm kind of cast with a friendly ghost, but it's okay because there's a quick and easy way we can settle that, but we're gonna do that at the end. We're gonna take the same brush that we use for our bronzer and just, you know, put some bronzer on our nose. Very rough, just like that. Now, since our eyes are naked, we're going to go back in with the bronzer and our brush that we usually use to contour our nose and we're just gonna put that inside of our crease. And now lastly, but definitely not least for the face, we're going to go back in with the three steps to sculpt and we're going to take the actual highlighter shade right here. And we're going to do a nice subtle highlight because since our skin is basically bare, we want to make sure that we're bringing the glow that's already in our skin out. Alrighty guys, so that's basically it for the base of our face. We are going to take my L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray and we're just going to spray it on our face to try to get rid of any powderness, powderiness that has come. A step that I did today that I usually don't do is putting the... Uh, highlighting powder up under my eyes but honestly i don't regret it you know it looks a little bit light but it's okay because you can always go back in with your uh foundation powder or setting powder and just brush that away especially if the setting powder is kind of close to your complexion so now we are nice and highlighted and everything looks so natural. It looks like it's a glow from within. And that is our goal, sis. Like, y'all are too good. Uh, now, you guys, I wasn't going to say anything because I wanted it to be like a little surprise or whatever. Hold up. I wanted it to be like a little surprise or whatever. 
but I am working on my own lash line and I got some lash samples in the other day and I was I don't know like I just want to show you guys I I have yet to open up the package because I wanted to open it on camera so that you guys can hear my raw reactions about how I feel about them and stuff like that and yeah this is going to be my first time trying 25 millimeter lashes sis 25 millimeter lashes now granted i love dramatic lashes and the whole motherfucking nine but i've never had 25 millimeter lashes like that is extremely long but they are extremely popular right now i see them everywhere and i'm just like you know if i'm gonna sell something i'm gonna have to be able to wear what i sell you know what i'm saying so we're gonna be trying them out till die so this is the packaging i'm so excited okay let's open her tf up i've literally been waiting to do this video so that you guys can see it with me all right so it's like that and you open it up and these are the lashes I am kind of disappointed because when I did my order for the lashes, I put in to get a variety pack of lashes, like the different, um, different styled ones and stuff like that. But these are them. Let's test out the quality. Okay, so we got those out right off the bat they are super fluffy they are fluffers i like that i like that they're fluffy i feel like they're not gonna be too much for me because not gonna lie going into this i was hecka nervous and first let me measure them on my eyes just to make sure that they'll fit these will fit just fine and they have a little tab right here of like basically no lash that I feel like will just get in my way. So I'm going to, it's like right here. I'm going to snip that. Sorry that my camera does not want to focus because it is boycotting me. These lashes are so fluffy. They are so fluffy. And... <clears throat> For me, I absolutely love fluffy lashes. I feel like they just accentuate my face way more. Like they go with my overall eyes. And it just, I don't know, like fluffy lashes are the, sh I love fluffy lashes. Like, yes, sis. While we are waiting for our eyelashes to dry, we are going to be taking the CoverGirl Peacock Flare Waterproof Mascara. And we're going to put these on our eyelash. Alrighty, guys and gals. I did a quick outfit change because after this, I got to go. But anyways, our lashes are dry enough. I really hope these work out. I really do. Alrighty, so this is how one lash is looking so far. I messed up a little bit and got some lash glue on my lid, but it's okay. Ain't nobody perfect or whatever. But so far, I think I think it looks good. Honestly, I'm very happy that they're not like freaking spider freaking man legs on my eyes because I was expecting them to be like huge but i guess i got pretty big eyes or a pretty big head or face or all that so yeah like honestly i think that this fits my eye really well and for this look it goes so yeah let's go ahead and get the other one on all right you guys so this is how they look i can tell right off the bat that there's a little bit of inconsistency um because they're both on my eyes the same but this one seems to flare a little bit more in the inner corner lash right here is a little bit longer than the one right here or if they're the same length no yeah no it's a little bit longer on the inner corner right there 
So I feel it every time I blink, it's tapping my nose, but they overall look really good. They look really good. How do you guys like it? Do you guys like it? I like it. They got lash glue everywhere though, but I like them. You guys, I like them. I like them a lot. Let me add my beauty mark. That's up under my eyeball. I like them. I think the only thing is that this shit's tapping my free flipping nose every two seconds, but I'm just gonna keep pushing it up. <laughs> I can definitely feel them on my eyebrow. <laughs> Whenever I look up, let's see if I can, I wear glasses, you guys. So let's see if I can wear my freaking glasses with these on. Don't judge how dirty my glasses are right now, please. Well, my ears are in my scarf, so let's just do this. Okay, they touch. But like this, they're fine. And this is normally how I wear my glasses anyways whenever I have on lashes. So these aren't even really like super duper big dramatic lashes. Like I freaking like these. Yes, sis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys are so excited. Thank you guys for watching my YouTube video. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe and put that bell notification on so that you can get some more videos from me whenever I drop them because I know you guys are liking what y'all seeing so far. So go ahead, girl, do it because I know you want some. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye.